intro. I just decided why not throw a little intro on here because this is my first YouTube video that I'm gonna be doing. I was just checking to see if all my colleagues on my Zoom can hear me right now. I don't think they can. I think the mute button works. I'm just paranoid. Let's try that. Well, hello, welcome to my YouTube page. Don't know what it's gonna be called yet. Don't know what content is gonna be here. Probably just different things I'm trying out and wanna take you along with me and different ideas I see that I think I would enjoy watching on here as well. So this is gonna be my first video and I hope you enjoy it. Take a look. I'm doing a lot of this. All right, watch the video, it's pretty cool. Well, hello there, we are doing a little DIY. We are going to be making some simple modern art using an old canvas right here. I picked this instead of a regular canvas. I actually got this over at Home Goods for about 30 bucks or so because it has a really cool gold frame that I like. And if you go to a different craft store and try to find just the canvas like this, it's actually a little bit more pricey and it doesn't have a frame. So we went with this pretty cool piece of art, but we're gonna cover it up and make it our own. And so we got some, uh, what is this called? Some plaster? I think. Or... We got some plaster over here or some, uh, I think it's plaster. And we are going to use these and we are going to spread it on here and make some pretty cool pictures. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> here we go. We're going for it. So we're just gonna smear this on here. No rhyme or rhythm. Is that how you say it? Rhyme or rhythm? I think. You just grab however much you want. This might take a few days to dry. We shall find out and let you know. And we're just gonna play with it. We'll show you the results in a little bit. So we went in and applied the rest with our putty knife. As you can see, there's no right or wrong way to do it. You can add little scratches, tap your putty knife, and just make all the different little speckles you want there. We then let it dry for about a day and a half, and that was good enough. There were some cracks in it, but that's okay because you're gonna cover it with paint. So here's the colors that I chose, just really earthy tones that matched the rug in my room. But first we started with putting putting down this creamy white color that I had. It's actually called origami white and we added that in. That's the same color as my walls in that room. We blue dry it really quick so then we could get right to painting and as you can see here, we just went for it. We didn't have any plan really. We looked at some inspiration on Pinterest but we added in those taupey brown colors and some pink even and then we peeled off the blue tape to show this final product. I love, love, love that gold frame there. And if you think you're messing up, you're not. You can always paint back over it with white and restart. Everyone's piece is gonna turn out a little bit different, but that's what makes it so fun. We could even go back over this if we get sick of it and change it to something else. So there you have it. There's your own abstract DIY canvas art on a budget. It's nice and affordable you enjoyed this let me know i'd love to do some other projects we just bought our first house this year so i'm loving doing like affordable little projects that still look nice and chic so let me know if you have any ideas and i hope to be back with another video soon bye